Merchant of Venice, adapted from The Merchant of Venice by Charles and Mary Lamb. Shylock is a wealthy moneylender in Venice who lends money at very high interest rates to local merchants. He is disliked by many, especially by Antonio, a young merchant who lends money to people in trouble. Since Antonio does not charge an interest, he is hated by Shylock but loved by his fellow citizens. Antonio has a dear friend, Bassanio, who he has often helped by lending money. One day, Bassanio asks Antonio for a loan of 3,000 ducats to be able to marry Portia, the rich woman he loves. But Antonio does not have the money at the time, as he is still waiting for his ships that are homebound. To help his friend, Antonio approaches Shylock. Shylock agrees to a loan without interest, on the condition that Antonio signs a bond that if he fails to repay the loan by a certain date, he would have to sacrifice a pound of his flesh from any part of his body from Shylock's choosing. Antonio signs the bond. Bassanio and Portia marry in Belmont. Portia gives him a ring and he vows to never part with it. After marriage, Bassanio gets legal right to Portia's money. While in Belmont, Bassanio receives a letter from Antonio saying that his ships are lost. This means he would have to offer a pound of flesh to Shylock. Bassanio returns to Venice immediately. Shylock refuses Bassanio's money and the case is presented before the Duke of Venice. Meanwhile, Portia decides to help Antonio. She takes advice from her relative, Bellario, a law counselor. She arrives in Venice on the day of the trial, dressed in men's clothes. She presents Bellario's letter to the Duke that says that Bellario is sick and Balthazar would take his place. Portia, disguised as Balthazar, begins her argument by speaking about the nobility of mercy, but receives no reaction from Shylock. She then analyzes the bond which says that Shylock can take flesh from near Antonio's heart, but cannot draw blood. She further says that if even one drop of blood is shed, Shylock's lands and goods will be transferred to the state. Shylock realizes his defeat and at once accepts Bassanio's offer. But Portia points out that since Shylock has conspired against a Venetian citizen's life, his life would be at the mercy of the Duke. The Duke spares Shylock's life but orders half his wealth to be transferred to Antonio and the other half to the state. Antonio gives up his share of Shylock's wealth on the condition that the wealth be transferred to Shylock's daughter and husband after his death. The court is dismissed. Still, not recognizing Portia, Bassanio and Antonio offer her 3,000 ducats for her help. But Portia refuses the money and asks instead for Bassanio's ring. Bassanio is grief-stricken but agrees to part with it. At home, Portia and Bassanio argue about the ring. Before she finally reveals, that she had been disguised as Balthazar all along.